This is three months after taking my Gary Brecker methylation test. I'm going to go through on my laptop, read through the supplements I took and if they actually made a difference. And I'm just going to talk about how I've changed my lifestyle slightly in the last three months and what I thought was worth it and what wasn't. My test I did in the UK, it cost me £350, I believe. And I got my results in November. I tell a lie, I did it in November, I got my results in December and then from the end of December I then started changing a little bit of how I ate and supplements I took. Let's start with my diet a little bit. They told me to avoid more grains. I have kind of got rid of carbs, not completely, but my meals don't really consist of carbs as much I use or utilise a lot more fats eat with a lot more butters, or I'll cook with butters, I'll have avocados, I will avoid non-organic fruit because of my folic acid as well. And I feel good with that, I do feel a lot of energy, I didn't think I would have so much energy from not eating carbs, but if you're not eating carbs you need to make sure you have fats in, otherwise you won't have energy. You need to be cooking with those butters, I use grass fed butter, but diet wise, Yes, I believe it is a good diet. I feel good about it. But how much do I think it's made a difference? I think it has. I think it has with the organic stuff. I'm not, I don't know 100%, but I will mainly go for organic. I will still eat non-organic, just sometimes because of the price. But diet-wise, I'm pretty happy with the fact that I believe it's made a little bit of a difference and I do feel pretty good about it and I feel good eating it and I like the food with that I'm not going to complain supplement wise let's go through I took I already took but an omega-3 I've changed my multivit so it had some of the bioavailable products in NMM or NMN I can't remember which one it was TMG and adenosine I probably said that wrong B12 uh MB12, which I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Let's have a quick look at that one. That's it. Well, M. Yeah, I got that wrong. MB12 is the same as uh, methylated B12, and then a vitamin D3K2. These are the supplements that I started to take, and I was also taking Lion's Mane as well. I still do. But let's go through them. Omega 3. I took that before, I take that now. I don't really know much difference. I just use that to make sure that if I'm not having enough fish in the week that I am getting those fatty acids in that I need. Multivit. Now, my Multivit ran out two weeks ago. I think it's potentially made a little bit of a difference with energy, but it's hard to tell. I went with the Health Multivit Bioavailable and that cost £20 a month to be having two supplements a day and having it through that. That was a bioavailable version, so it had a lot of things that I already could convert, but it was already converted. Bad thing about that one, it is bad to have when you've not had any food. Me personally, if I ate it fasted, I would puke and I would feel sick for quite a few hours. That tablet you need, or I needed, to have with food. That was a bad thing about that. With that one, I'm probably gonna give it the tick. Yes, it has made a little bit of a difference. Is it massive? I don't really think it's massive compared to the other one I was having, but I think it has. Now, next one, NMN and TMG. I'll be honest, this one would have cost me £45 a month. I took it for a month. I couldn't really tell the difference. You had to have the, it's either NMN or NMN. I had to have it in the fridge. And when you're traveling, it's quite hard to have it in the fridge. I've sacked that one off. It wasn't worth it. And that was down to, if I look correctly, I'm just looking through now. That was down to NAD in the mitochondria to help create more NAD. And if you've got more NAD, you're going to have more energy and your neurons in your brain are going to work a little bit better. As well as that, it said for me, choline would have been very good for that same system, for my PEMP gene. And for my choline, I now have six eggs a day religiously. I didn't really do that before. I don't need to take a tablet. I'd rather 
supplement it with food and supplement it with a tablet. I'm getting six seconds a day in, so that's enough choline. That's probably why I've maybe not seen the difference with that Pemp Gene version one. But that supplement, I took it off. The B12 one, I'll be honest, hard to say. It was a little bit cheaper. It was in my multivit as well. One of them wasn't in my multivit that I couldn't convert. Could I tell the difference? I don't know. I don't know. Vitamin D3, K2, this one definitely, definitely can tell the difference. And this was, for me, my VDR was read down regulated, which means that if I get a certain emotion, it's quickly flushed out. And there is a risk, they said, of depression. But they said you don't get stressed a lot, a lot which is a good thing, but your transfer from tricene to dopamine is not the best. If you have vitamin D3, that system is very, well not very, it's back to being efficient. I was having D3 before, I think I was not really having the best quality of brands. And I have D3 still now, and I could tell D3 massively with my energy. I was a lot more energetic, especially in England, there isn't a lot of sun. You need to make sure you have your vitamin D3, K2. In Thailand, I was still having that, and I felt great with that. Lots of energy. So I put a lot of energy down to that vitamin D3, K2. And really, I had lion's mane as well. I can't continue to have that. I had magnesium as well, which was kind of in the report, but I still had that. The only main difference I changed was the type of multivit. The M and M and TMG and this B12, and then I got a better D3 K2 version. And that's supplement-wise what I changed. Diet-wise, I have a lot more beef organs. I'll have liver a lot more. I will have kiwis now. I didn't really have them before, and I will have organic fruit. With the food-wise, I could think. I think I can tell the difference. The supplement-wise, it's a little bit harder. A little bit harder. And the last, I'm just checking. Yeah, that's it, that's it. As well, the other supplements I already took was probiotics, I took them. I took, I'm just checking, because I'd be, creatine, I take that as well. But they weren't in the methylation test. And overall, do I think it's recommended, or would I recommend, Gary Brecker's methylation test? And it all depends if you've got the money spare to put into, into it. For me personally, yes, it was an investment. Yes, it was worth it. It cost me £350 to get the results, and I never have to do that test ever again. In America, I know it's different, but it is, I'm going to say it's up to you and your financial situation and what is your priority. To me, health is my priority, so I want to make sure everything is checked and made sure I'm optimising all my areas that could improve me within my sport i'm a professional athlete so i need to make sure i'm optimized for that elite level performance and that's why i think personally for me it was definitely worth it there's only 350 quid i don't have to pay it again yes i would do it that's just my personal opinion i don't recommend for you to have to do it it's not gonna do something ma or it could do something massive but for me i don't feel it did anything massive but it I think it has improved my diet and my choices of food supplement wise I'm not 100% sure but that's how I took my results from there and what I've got looking at my computer screens now what supplements am I going to take from now on I will take my multivit I will take the vitamin d3 I will take a lion's mane which I didn't really talk about I already take it I take magnesium glycinate and magnesium eltrelinate on a night time and if I've not already said creatine, that one as well. I get my choline from eggs. I'd rather get my things that I need for my body from food instead of from a supplement. It's like protein powder. I'd much rather eat it from a wholesome food and have whole foods than have it from protein powder. If you can get all these in whole foods, much better than getting them in a supplement. But that's how we do things around here. Because we're built different. And I'll probably do another check-in of how I'm feeling later down the line with these results and how I'm getting on. We do things differently around here because we're built different. And I'll see you in the next one. Bish, bash, bosh, pow!